It hasn't changed in two years. I won't be living in South Charlotte. I'll move out. Noise from Charlotte's airport is frustrating South Charlotte neighbors more than ever before. Those neighbors have been complaining about noisy jet traffic over their homes for more than a year now. But now those neighbors say a special roundtable designed to help fix that problem isn't working. Eyewitness News reporter Tina Terry is live with new information on how the airport is trying to help. Well, yeah, that roundtable is supposed to take complaints about noise that originates here at the airport straight to the FAA. But neighbors who sit on that panel say their concerns are getting lost in translation. This is video taken a few weeks ago off Quail Hollow Road in South Charlotte. And it's, it's kind of sad when your family can start identifying airplanes, whether they're departures, arrivals, the type of airplane simply by the noise. Brian Cox is on the Airport Community Roundtable, a group of neighbors assembled by the airport to take complaints about jet noise straight to the FAA. This doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We've been meeting almost a year. We've thrown a lot of ideas out for consideration. Members say the FAA made major changes to flight paths over the last several years that created a highly concentrated highway of air traffic over their homes. But Cox says the roundtable's suggestions have been lost in translation. We're not engineers, and um, which is why the, the airport, to its credit, is bringing on a technical consultant. They are hoping that consultant can look at their suggestions from a data driven perspective and translate those ideas to the FAA. In the meantime, neighbors much closer to the airport have new concerns about construction of a new runway. We're going to reroute West Boulevard through our neighborhood. The FAA just extended public comment about the new project, and Cox wants to know how a new runway could impact noise problems. Yeah, that round table is supposed to meet in about 30 minutes to talk about that new consultant's role. And if you would like to make complaints or express your concerns about a new runway, visit our website, WSOCTV.com, for instructions. Reporting live at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.